Hi guys and welcome back to a brand new Tattoo Fail Reaction video! Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the scolding hot Darjeeling? Hello and welcome back to my channel! So, first of all, I just have to say, I am a little bit unwell, so apologies if I sound a bit nasally and a bit gross. I'm getting over something, girl, it's been a long time! No, um, I'm actually fine, I feel great, it's just I'm all bunged up. So, today we are back for another round of Tattoo Fails. Now! Today is a little bit different because I'm going to theme it. And today we're going to be doing branded tattoos. So I will be searching across the internet for lots of brand tattoo fails, whether that's McDonald's or Burger King or Adidas or uh, Mr. Blobby. Blobby, Blobby, Blobby. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. And let's not beat around the bush, eh, and get on with these. Tattoo fails. <gasps> wow, wait, what? This person's got a McDonald's receipt tattooed in them. This cola, cheeseburger. I'm not sure what language this is in. This is a different language. I'm not sure what language this is in. See, because says 25 on cola, I'm gonna say Scandinavia because it's very expensive there. Imagine getting your tattoo, like your receipt. Of, you love McDonald's, you're like, I really love this order. It changed my life. I'm gonna get it tattooed in me. Ch imagine tattooing a McDonald's order in your, what? Choices. <laughs> <gasps> oh, he's so young. Oh my God. So this, it's gonna be quite small because it's kind of got a wide photo. But it says here that this guy got his McDonald's receipt tattooed in him from a dare. He was dared to do it by his friends. Look how young, he, I don't know how old, it doesn't say how old he is, but look how young. He looks so young, so young. And the thing is as well, like because of the way that the tattoo is and the writing, in a few years time, this is just gonna be like a smudge. It's not gonna age well because it's so tiny and so close together. Like it's just got, oh wow. I get peer pressure and all, but like also, Come on, sis. Like, come on. When I think of peer pressure, I'm like, kids being like, go and have a smoke, go and have a little soap, go. Like, having like, that kind of thing. Or like, oh, go knock on their house and run. We're gonna hide in the bush. But like, actually tattooing an entire McDonald's receipt into your forearm. Na natural selection. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm glad I wasn't this stupid when I was young. So this person's got a Windows 80, a, wi a Windows 88 logo tattooed in there. Hang on a second. Can you see what I can say? Can you see what I can see? Behind the aura. Let's see this. It's very New York Times. This person, so this person has got a swastika tattoo and they've tried to cover it up by pretending it's a Windows 88 tattoo. But they didn't go over where the original tattoo was, so you can still see it, So, which makes me feel like they didn't really want to get it covered up. They're just trying to like, hide it a little. Oh, secrets and lies. Secret. <coughs> God. Well, he's dead. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is obs absolutely obscene. Like, no, 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 no. Windows 88. Why not 98? I think, when I think of Windows, I always think of Windows 98. Like, that's what I think of. But 88? Oh, this, so this person above their, like, penis. Penis! Has Tesco, the Tesco logo, and the Every Little Helps above their penis. Beautiful penis. I don't know where this is from. There's no context to what this is. This feels like this is, like, tattoo too far or something. One of those things where their friends get their, ta their friends tattoo shit in each other. Because it looks like, it looks like this is, like, a TV shot, but... Every little helps in front of your like genitals and Tesco. That I'm oh, again like why? Like you might think it's hilarious with your lads, but like like girls, if you saw that, like would you go? Oh, he's the man for me. You got a very deep voice. Melody. And I know what you're probably thinking. How do you know he's straight? He might be gay. Bitch, we know. We know. There's a monster in our soul. No, there isn't a monster. Oh, you can tell this person has never had sex. <laughs> You're a virgin who can't drive. Oh my God, the hills have incel virgins. This is, I'm sorry, like, again, this is one of those things that it's always like people who think they're so wild, like, the Joker tells my story. You know, people just don't understand me because I'm not part of the matrix. There's a monster in, us, in all of us. Like, sh literally shut up. You are not that deep, Chris. You are not that deep, okay? You are not that deep, okay? 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 And he didn't get monster tattooed on him once. He wanted twice. He was like, I need twice the energy because I'm so alpha male. Stop it. 
Get some help. So this person has the Taco Bell logo tattooed on the right side of their bum cheek. Like, this is very, very, like... Clifford and his mates were like, yeah, let's go on the lash, lads. Well, maybe not lads, because I guess Taco Bell's more of an American thing. So Kevin, I don't know, what, what's a really... Uh, Kevin, Kevin and his friends go, yeah, let's all get the Taco Bell logo. Why not, girls? What did you say? I will never do it again, I apologise. But like, sure. The tattoo itself doesn't actually look that bad, but like Taco Bell, I mean, I love Taco Bell. We had one open up near us a couple years ago, but no, this is very like lads out getting drunk and gone, that'll be funny. Ha 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 ha, my girlfriend will love this. Yeah, she'll really want to sleep with me now I've got Taco Bell on my arsehole. Absolutely disgusting. I'm always loving it. Are you joking? Oh, wow. Even like you would, it's not like, it's like very like, asymmetrical. Like why is it not even like symmetrical? Why isn't like I'm loving it kind of like in the center properly done to the, cause on the left side, it's like really sort of sticking out more than the right. Like it's kind of off putting. I, I just, I don't have words. It's like, why? Imagine loving McDonald's that much. Like I just really want the arches tattoos on my shoulders. Cause it really, it really brings out the best in me. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm out. People are bonkers. <laughs> Oh my God, so this person's got, oh, and it's like actually like fully getting like pumped into the veins. Jägermeister and Red Bull. So it's like a Jäger bomb. I don't know if, a Jäger bomb's like all around the world is just a UK thing, I don't know. And they've got it like injecting straight into their veins. I mean, let's glorify alcoholism. Like, I, what? Like, ah, just took it to my veins. Thing is, they're not even done well. Like the tattoos are absolutely ah. sh like, it's not even, like, good. I just think, like, what message is this sending out to people? Like, when you men people meet you and they see this, like, what do you want people to actually think of you? First impressions, no matter how much you like them or dislike them, everybody does it. Every single person has a snap first impression when they meet someone or does something. Like, what message are you trying to give people when they meet you? Because this ain't one that I want to be involved in. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> no, why would you do that? Oh, tacky, trashy. This is so I'm going to, have to blur the bottom half of it, but it is a McDonald's drive through logo above her asshole. Ah! <gasps> and it's like the drive through. That is so vile. That's vile. That's vile. Why do you know? No, don't. That's or no. Stop it. I'm sure Ronald McDonald would love that. The thing is, we all have different tastes. I get it. But why is that a taste? <laughs> why is that? Why? Why? So this person's got a Sprite can tattooed in there and it says, obey my pussy. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Obey my pussy. And it's a Sprite can like pouring over like towards her. Downstairs lady guards in <gasps> Good heavens. You know, when I started this video, I wasn't too sure like how much I was gonna be able to find. But Jesus Christ, if I found some zingers on this one. Jeez! Oh! Stop it! Stop it! Uh, like I always say though, if you're gonna get, get bad tattoos, get them done well. Get them done well. Oh god. Apparently this is like a, a Rangers football club. I don't know football, I don't like football. Imagine liking your football team that much that you're tattooing it on your face. I don't get football. I really don't understand it. When the World Cup was here and it was Italy versus England and we were just like trying to live our lives, people were smashing shit up for no reason. Like central London was just like trashed for literally zero reason. There was a Burger King in Leicester Square, had their windows like smashed open for literally no reason. This is like even before the match started. So it wasn't like angry people because we lost. It was just British people getting completely off their tits and just like smashing stuff up because that's football culture. Like it's just, the UK's football culture is just vile, vile. The idea of like getting it tattooed in my face, like why? Like if you love your team that much, get it tattooed on your arm or your leg or something, but on your face. Again, like the football manager who owns the, like, owns the club or whatever, who owns the team, I don't know how it works, but whoever owns the team, 
they're not going to look at you and go, oh, I love him. Don't think, why did that twat do that? Like, this isn't going to make us win. <laughs> Away in a ranger. Pick me up and score me. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh my God, what happened? Oh my God, is this the Hills have Burger King? Like, what? that's meant to be like the Burger King, right? That's the Burger King. Oh God. He's had one too many crack pipes and now he's at... Would you like my Whopper? Oh yeah, it's very juicy. Oh yeah, oh, it's between some strips. Oh, my Whopper. You're watching the BBC. God, the burger K-hole. This is literally the burger K-hole. This guy tattooed an entire football shirt on his torso. Oh, stop it. When I said, don't get it on your face, I didn't mean cover your entire body. Oh, uh, body oil. Sure. You live your life, sis, because, I just, wow. Bitcoin life, and they got a bit, oh my God. Yes, and just like Bitcoin, this tattoo's gonna crash. To me, this is like very Andrew Tate fan. Like it's that kind of like, yeah, oh my God, yeah. I'm escaping the real world and making the crypto. Yeah, it's amazing, yeah, crypto. And I feel like I don't need to say anything else. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's sake. So this person has, the rebel flag. They've got rebel tattooed across their shoulder blades. And then their entire back is like the monster energy drink. But they've got a rebel flag like inside it. Electric chair. I don't even want to talk about the rebel, the rebel flag side of it. Like that's not even a kind of worms that I even want to get into right now. But like I'm sure monster energy drink is so wonderfully happy that you've related them to the confederate flag. Like monster energy drink are not gonna give you a year's supply of drink because you've tattooed this in your back. It's so trashy, like it's so, and then the fact they put the confetti flag in the middle of it, like it's just like blood, you know, like you're not even trying to hide anymore. Like it's just, God, is another one. Why is there so many, like, why is there another one of this? Like what, what is it about the monster energy drink logo and then the confederate flag where it's like, we're gonna put them together. That's cute, like, like down the side of their body. Go get a grip, get a grip, get a grip. Good guy, get a grip, girl. <laughs> I can't believe there is literally this entire category of people getting this exact same tattoo of like Monster Energy logo with Confederate flags in the middle of it. Like, where does this suddenly come from? Where is it suddenly? Where? Why are people getting all, like it's just it's uh. deranged. God, Mountain Dew now. So we've got, we had the, we had the Jaeger bombs and now we've got Mountain Dew like pinned to the arm and being like injected straight into the vein. Why? Mountain Dew do not want you to inject it into your veins. Oh, so this person's got in and out tattooed like above their pelvic, like it's point, basically pointing to down, down towards their like genital region. Stop it. I'm sure in and out Burger would love that. I never know which problem. When I do these videos, I'm always constantly moving the microphone back and forth, being like, and then this side, this side, th so this way, that way, oh, was that was over the Irish Scouts. Oh, here's another one. Manchester United, Sir Alex Ferguson, legend. And it's like the data. I'm guessing. I don't think he's Alex. I don't think Alex Ferguson's dead, is he? I'm doing that's a made when he like left the team. I don't, I really don't know football. This is such a huge part of your back to have it. And it's like really badly done. Like if I was part of Manchester United and I saw that, I'd be like, why did you do that? It's simply an accident of birth. Football's weird. Football makes people go weird, like bizarre. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. Someone is, I, I don't get it. Oh, that has to, that can't be, no. Please tell me that's not real. Please tell me that's just makeup and not actually real. This person's got Nike for their eyebrows and even wrote Nike. Oh, wow. That has to be a troll or something. Like, stop it. Stop, stop it. Stop it. Oh, stop. No, stop it. I actually just don't know what to say. I, I genuinely just don't know what to say about that. My body is my journal. My tattoos are my stories. <laughs> Oh, sick. And they've got something else in their face here as well. I can't, is that, what does that say? I don't know what, follow your, dri follow your dreams. Sis, you need to get better dreams. I actually really enjoy Fortnite. I think it's a wonderful game. And like, if you like Fortnite and that's great and you want to get a tattoo of it, I have literally have zero problems because I have video game tattoos. This like, to me, Fortnite is very different than getting like McDonald's tattooed on you. Like actually, let's, let's discuss this. People might call me a hypocrite because I've got like, you know, branded things on me. So I've got Sonic and Knuckles and, you know, Pokemon stuff and things, but they're fictional characters. You get involved with the stories, you get emotionally connected with it. You get like, having like fictional characters characters, they're not real. They're not, they're fictional characters. They're part of stories, they're part of like things. You get emotionally like connected to it. I don't see 
getting like brands tattooed in you is the same as getting like characters. It, they are very, like it's very different. Like who's actually getting like emotionally connected to McDonald's? Who's like going, it really moved to me. Yes, to the ICU because your heart can't cope with all the saturated fat. You're not moved by McDonald's or Burger King. The only thing you're moved to is the grave. But I'm dead. Yes, and you're terrible at it. Even if you were to get Ronald McDonald, I still think that's different because it's like a fake it's like a made up character, it's not real. But to get like actual logos of like monster energy drink or like the actual McDonald's logo like tattoo, to me personally is very strong jet. Why you're getting like a multi billion dollar corporation logo on you. Like it's just weird. But back to this kid who's got Fortnite on his forehead. Fortnite on, forehead Fortnite, oh funny. That's the joke. Why is it? Like, you're so young. Like, you look so young to be getting face tattoos. There's, there's so many other things that you could do with Fortnite that you decide to get Fortnite tattooed on your forehead. I'm actually really pissed, kind of pissed off that someone actually did this to him as well. But, like, you could have got, like, some of the characters, like, tattooed in your arm or just something more than just getting the actual name tattooed in your forehead. Like, this... This is, this, this was a, you're, you're gonna regret this for sure. 100%. You're gonna look back and go, why the f did I do that? What? Wait, what, what am I looking at? Oreo cookies. Is that real? Can a barcode read it off skin? Do they love it so much they just go to Tills and be like, I just need 800. Beep, 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 beep. Unexpected item in the gout. I remember though, back in like, I want to say the late 2000s, like early 2010s, there was a big trend of people getting like barcodes tattooed in the back of their neck. It was a big thing back then. I don't know if people still do it, but that was a big trend that's kind of like gone. But yeah, that, does it, would this work? Would it actually, would you actually be able to bark? I feel like it needs to be on like a, I don't know. Would it work? There's only one way to find out. Follow me. Can you imagine if I went and actually just got like a barcode tattooed in me? Do you know what? Should we just go and do it? Yeah, come on, let's go see if it works. I'll get a barcode tattooed here and you scan it. It's going to be like gay -pery. It's like popery, but gay. I don't know if you know this. I'm actually a, um, um, a homosexual. To be honest, love, we did have an inkling. <laughs> I'm not even going to say anything. Like, what is the point? A Walmart tramp <laughs> stamp. Bloody hell! So this person has got Adidas tattooed down the side of their leg. I think this is meant to be like a sock. Just get a sock. Just get Adidas socks. Just get Adidas socks. The company is not gonna look at this and go, oh my God, free socks for life for this gentleman because he loves us. That's literally never going to happen. Like why would I, I uh, 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 just get some socks that say Adidas. Why did you need to tattoo it in you? It's just, to me, I just see it as, like, it's just trashy. Like, it, it's just trashy. Like, I just, I just think it's trashy. Trash. Oh, for God's sake, here we go again. Uh, uh, Addy, so this person's got Ad an Adidas logo, like, tattooed on the side of their face. But they've got it in, like, the, is that the Rastafarian flag colours? Is that right? I, I think that's meant to be, like, the Rastafarian colours. Is that right? I think that's right. But that's just... Uh, <sighs> If you love brands so much, good for you. But to tattoo them on your face? And this person looks like there's nothing, they can't say anything here, so the neck's probably not covered. They've just got it on their cheek. Like, it just feels like this was a dare from their friends. They're like, go on, yeah, you can, yeah, go, yeah. Go on, Sammy, it'll be funny, won't it? Yeah. And this, look at this piercing down here, all bloody and disgust. No, this, no, no, jail. <laughs> Tottenham till I die. Oh, it's just, it's just... Oh, it's just, oh, I just hate it. I just think it's so tacky. It's so tacky. Like, again, if you love your football team, that's wonderful. But tattooing Tottenham till I die on the back of your head, like, it's just, it's just trash. <laughs> Sorry, tsunami. It's just trash. It's just trash. I think, so I think we may have seen this before. Someone's got Louis Vuitton like tattooed all over the arm. Just get a t-shirt. Just get one of their shirts or something with the logo on. You don't need to tattoo this in your arm. Like Louis Vuitton is not gonna go, oh my God, I'm so glad that you did that. Here's the free bag. Like they're not gonna do that. It's such a weird, I just find it so perplexing. Why would you want that in, why? Why? It's just, it to me, it, it to me it's just trashy. It just looks tacky. Like it's just, it's just tacky. Oh, do you know what I said anyone? If you want to get Ronald McDonald tattooed in you, I've changed my mind. <laughs> I can't show you the bottom half of this because it's, 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 it's illicit substances. It's Ronald McDonald injecting 
heroin. Ba da ba ba ba! I'm dead. How inconsiderate of people to die at the weekend. <sighs> this person's got Verizon tattooed in their like hand. Is Verizon an American phone company, isn't it? If I think, or is an internet provider? I think Verizon's like some kind of like American. It's some tele. I think it's phone company. I think it's a phone company or like a phone network. Sure. Do you know what? I'm sure the phone company is going to give you free contracts because you've tattooed it into your fist. Oh gosh, this person's got McDonald's, Nando's, KFC, and Burger King logos tattooed into his fingers. I think it's a choice. And like to tattoo these brands into your fingers, like if, if that's what you want, sure. Like I wouldn't do it, but I will say the tattoos themselves are actually kind of cute. Like they're not badly done. Like for the area that they're in, I feel like they actually look quite good. They're probably gonna age badly because they're quite detailed and small. Like, especially the KFC man, like this is just gonna look like a smudge eventually. I think they look kind of cute. I would never do it, but like, out of all the ones we've seen out of today, these ones are actually kind of good. <laughs> Well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. Choo choo, spins down the railway, about to crash off the cliff and plunge to my branded death. Bye! And I'm back, just like Jesus Christ. I'm on the, ver I'm on the verge of not being able to come back today, Jesus Christ. I really wanted to film a video, even though it's been a struggle. So thank you for sticking with me today. You can see my voice is like, hello, it's here. Are you gonna die? Um, I'm gonna be streaming later. I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch later. How am I gonna f uh. cope with that? Jesus Christ. Anyway, this has been a lot. I mean, the, I, the, the boy who tattooed the McDonald's was into his arm. Like, he was so young. Monster in sinus, all shut up. Like, oh, I can't. And the conveyor of flag stuff. And just like, there's a whole, there's a whole thing. This whole video. I'm they're all up here in front of me again. Like, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. Make better choices. These huge brands don't care about you. They just want your money. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. Make sure you do check out my last video I made with, with the fabulous Jamie. Uh, we made a video talking about nice guys on like the Reddit nice guys, full of incels. It was absolutely hilarious. It was bonkers. So go check out my last video with Jamie. Today's Twitch shout out. So I'm, I'm dying. You can tell my my energy level is like, oh, well, it's time to die. My, my Twitch shout out today goes to Hippie Hawking. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. You are delicious. Thank you for following me. If you would like to be in the chance of the next Twitch shout out come follow me over on twitch it's roly west over there a massive shout out to my lovely patrons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here thank you for being a patreon however a top shout out patron to top patrons uh, athena barrington hunter portwood erin grace jenna beth herman lisa pennington zoe severe heather mcfarland christina carl benjamin baker i a robin scott palmer corin pemerton kaz.thom bethard stefutech caitlin wright chloe louise shell herman and kelly bowser thank you for being my top tier patreons you guys are Delicious. Anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch out there say that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are not tattooing monster energy logos.